What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy, Sir Jorge Degrade, bringing you our very first Wi Fi upload. Today, guys, today we are going to be uploading for the GAU, the global uh, Ubers union uh, uh, owned by uh, 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 Obo29, I believe. And uh, yeah, so now, a fair warning we did not draft this team. Sorry, I thought my hair was on my mic. Uh, we did not draft this team. We actually picked it up after Diet had dropped the league. And so we made it. We made two changes to the team overall. Um, I realized that I actually never went over our team, uh, what we have, and uh, I I can't say why we bring uh, why we drafted it because it's uh, uh it's dietites of mine, but I can I can tell you what we have and uh, what our team looks like. So for weeks one and two, uh, our team consists of Marshadow, Megalodius, Tapufini, Zapdos, Nido Queen, Arcanine, uh, Tessirna, or Sirna. Oh, Serena, sorry, Serena, Bishop, Reggie Steel, Porygon 2, and Zygarde 10%. Now, whenever looking at this team, um, really the first sore thumb that stuck out for me was that Bisharp. I'm not the biggest fan of it because really it just does two things. It, um, sorry, I'm going to move my mic just a little bit. It does two things. It, um, it either Click Sucker Punch or Iron Head or a variant of that or it gets up rocks. And so, you know, when I first saw it, I was like, yeah, it's a dark type. Maybe there's another dark type in, in this it's same uh in its same point system so that I can get something a little bit better. And so, um that's the first change we made and so we decided to drop Bisharp and uh we picked up uh, Incineroar. So Incineroar will be joining us uh week three. And now that we picked up Incineroar, I was like, Okay, well I'm not a fan of having a second fire type, even though you know it's a good offensive typing. Um I I, I was just like, you know what, let's see what else we have in, in, in um in uh the same tier as Arcanine and so uh I saw Crobat was there. Crobat's a mana I haven't really used but I've seen other people use it. And so it gave me a defogger, it gave me a nice hundred and thirty speed tier um for my speed tiers and then um it, it, it just has a lot of utility. Um and uh, and with Arc uh, not Arcanine with uh, Crobat and Incineroar, we had two more pivot mods that can just pivot around uh, in, in in any situation, which is something I really actually liked a lot. It's because I feel like I like to play around with pivot, and it's something I really don't draft that often. And so I feel like it's gonna it was gonna be a big help for me. But yeah, so that's those are the two things that we made for the team. We dropped uh, Bisharp and Arcanine, and we picked up Incineroar and uh, Crobat. And you know what's even cooler is that we still have Intimidate on our team in Incineroar. Uh, so you know, it, it, I, I think uh, it worked out in 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 a better situation. Sorry for my stutter. But yeah, but looking at uh, so looking overall with the team in general, I know I'm gonna go over my team mostly. It's very beginning of the uh, video. I actually have never really used Marshadow that much, but I saw that I had it, and uh, I was like, "Ooh, actually," because I know Marshadow's typing is has no resistance. Uh, so far in this game, there's no uh, there's no dual typing that resists both fighting and ghost. So I was like, "Ooh, hoo, 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 I wonder what kind of issues we can get into this, just like Marshadow can." I saw that we have like one of the like the best like standard draft Pokemon in Megalodios, and so I was really happy. We also had ridiculous bulk in Tapu Fini. And then Zapdos too, so it, it, like those those uh, three picks are extremely bulky and stupid to deal with, and I was like, ooh, I like that a lot. We I, and then the Needle Queen is something I I, I Needle Queen I've, it's a mod that I actually con I've had consistently uh, in his teams overall, and I actually like the mod a lot. Um, Serena I haven't Serena I haven't really used that much, but uh, again, uh, it comes back to uh, it, it's a rapid spinner. Uh, you know, it, it just it's a good. I think it actually it's a pretty good uh, assault that used her was like. Uh, Pyro Whip and some other moves, and then uh, Porygon 2 is just stupid thick as well, as long as, along with Reggie Steel, and the Zygarde 10% form is speedier, the Zygarde form that can still set up, and uh, I actually like them on, it, it's a it's a good Dako, um, but yeah, with that in mind, let's go over, uh, we're, uh, sorry, I, I didn't even say the opponent we're playing it today, we are going to be facing off uh, Blood Squid, I believe, Squid, uh, uh, Blazing Squid, I'm sorry, Blazing Squid, I have the team right there, and it's Toronto Totodiles, finally, Four minutes into the video, and I finally set our opponent for week one. Uh, so again, I'm very new to Ubers, but really Ubers is just standard with more mons. So uh, just like tier three is uh, standard with less mons. And so looking over uh, Squid's team, he has the Xerneas, the Mega Mawile, the Victini, the Hydreigon, um, Mamoswine, Shaman, uh, Jolteon, Araquanade, Golbat, Gengar, and Cobalion. Cobalion. And so when looking at his team, I honestly don't remember what I was thinking about his team, but uh, I was very worried of like Mawile and Xerneas because they're pretty pretty good uh, fairy types that can stop Marshadow uh, a lot. And then um, 
He has a pretty good like scarf and Hydreigon. Victini can be a threat with uh, was choice bad. I was very afraid of Malphite coming in with a life orb because that boy just you know punches holes throughout my entire team. Uh, we'll see what else. A rock is a nice uh, switch to the Pokemon. Uh, Shaman can be stupid too. Was like Leech Seed and then uh, Rest, uh, Nat Geo Curve, Sub Out, and then you know it just loses it, it gains it loses its status. It gains full health and then it can come back out. Go back to good defogger pivot Pokemon. Uh, Gengar is just a especially uh, fast mon, and then Cobalion is just a good pivot mon as well with Volt Switch. So uh, when prepping for this team, I really was afraid of that Malosine coming. So we really built a little defensively around that as well as the Mega Mawile and Victini. So that's really what we, we sort of came around. Um, with that in mind, let's go over our team, what we're bringing, and why we are bringing it. So, uh, our first mon for week one, we are bringing the little bro, the Marshadow. Uh, he's rocking the Choice Scarf, Dream Punch, Shadow Sneak, Close Combat, and Spectral Thief. Uh, Shadow Sneak is really just in case he sets up with a, uh, with like uh, Xerneas and, and, and uh, with uh, Geomancy. Well, actually, well, actually no, Geomancy is actually banned, and you, you're, you're gonna see what's gonna happen. Um, uh, just in case something goes plus two and we can't outspeed it, we have Shadow Sneak for right there, and Technician will boost it to a, I believe, a, what, a 60, 70 base move instead of, uh, it's usually, usually what, 60, no, actually, no, it'll be a 90 base move, because it's 60 normally. And then, you know, Close Combat Spectral Thief is really good, uh, just, just in general, and there's a lot of work, and then Dream Punch is just if we need to gain health. And yeah, we're rocking max HP, max attack, because we really didn't need to run any speed, and uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's, that's what I liked. Um, I think we actually lived a, mo not a mod, I think it might might have been a timid uh, Moonblast from Xerneas, which is kind of crazy. But anyways, uh, that's Little Bro, our national. Next up, we are bringing Key Lime Fly, the Mega Latias. Um, we we're bringing sort of a, a heat set. It, this was really mainly for the Cobalion. Uh, so we're bringing Sturd Power, Calm Mind, Whirlpool, Recover. Uh, so, or even the Shaman, but um, It'll, you'll turn to find out he does not bring either of those mods, so key lifeline sort of becomes useless in this in this matchup. Uh, so yeah, the idea was to trap him with Whirlpool, uh, uh, set up with Calm Mind, because they really couldn't touch us at all, and then we recover their faces after we take so much damage, and then we just went with Sword Power, Sword, Sword Power which would have been cool, but it, it, it really just bites us in the butt uh, in the game. Uh, we're rocking max HP, max speed, timid. Uh, again, it, it was a really cool idea I had. It didn't work out in our favor, but that's fine. I really did not mind at all. Uh, now we are bringing Arkadog, one of the mods we did drop. We're also bringing Bisharp, as you can see by the layout. Um, I just thought they could have come, uh, so don't hate me. We're rocking Leftovers, uh, Intimidate, Flamethrower, Willow with Morning Sun, Dragon Pulse. Um, so we're running Flamethrower because it really just d doesn't do a lot to his team. We're bringing will o -Wisp, Morning Sun, Dragon Pulse. Now, this thing does get walled by a rock when it. We really can't do anything to it because of the water bu bubble ability. And we can't even burn it, which sucks because, again, of that stupid ability. Um, but uh, we are rocking Dragon Pulse just in case he wants to go into maybe Hydreigon if he brings it. And uh, just click it against his face. It, it does, it just, it, it walls Mega Mawile. Uh, it walls Big Teeny pretty well. And so that's really the idea of why we're bringing it. But yeah, nothing much else to say about that. Um, it's just a stupid mon that uh, can just wall pretty good. Uh, next up, we are ringing status free. Uh, uh, the Tapu Fini was a leftover. Hydro Pump Skull and Moon Blast Ice Beam. Um, I, I forget. I think we're rocking a lot of speed to outspeed something on this team. I don't. I don't remember what. Um, rocking almost like I think we're rocking Rock Friendly HP. So that's when we have a little bit of, of uh, HP there, and then I think we're running uh, some uh, some special investment so that we can two shot something. Again, I, I battled like maybe last week or no, it's actually, yeah, it was like the 1st of July. So <laughs> I need to work on my memory pretty badly. But anyways, Hydro Pump does a lot to his team. Skull does a lot to his team. And then I realized I needed to uh, carry something for that Shaman because Shaman could have come in and just, you know, click three spot if we wanted to. But uh, if I if I could read the switch in to Shaman, we could have clicked Ice Beam and I think we would have two shot a max HP def uh, physically defensive Shaman. I could be wrong about that. Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section below, but yeah. Uh, next up, uh, yeah, and that's pretty much our Tapu Fini. I, I, also, the na name is sort of a joke because I'm single and uh, Ray Domingo. That's why it's status free because of Missy Terrain. I, ho I hope you guys like it. Love me. Anyways, uh, next up, we are bringing a Choice Scarf, She Hulk. We're bringing Dual Scarfers. Um, 
uh, this week, we're bringing Earth Power Sludge with Ice Beam Stealth Rocks. Um, the reason why I'm, I, I'm rocking Stealth Rocks as well, we're bringing two Rockets, by the way, is because I want the bluff that I am Scarfed. And so, because Earth Power Sludge with an Ice Beam just, do, just does a lot, reduces the amount to his team, and uh, he really doesn't have that best of the switches, but once we do lock in, we lock in, and so we really can't do anything about that. Which is sort of the downfall of Choice Scarf, but again, uh, if we can read the switch in, then we can read the switch in. We're rocking max special attack, max speed, four in special defense because we didn't need to run uh, HP investment, sorry. And then, yeah, pretty simple stuff. Um, again, the goal was to bluff that we were scarfed uh, so that he goes into like the right switch in, and then um, he'll see rocks, and then we'll switch out. So we'll, we would have played like that. But yeah. And then finally, we have 50 50. The uh, Bisharp was a Life Orb, Iron Head, Sucker Punch, Knockoff, Self Rocks. This is our lead. Uh, at post battle, I really should have brought it uh, Focus Sash, and you'll see why. But um, <laughs> yeah, you, you, and uh, if you guys can tell by the uh, by the uh, by the title of our video, yeah, we get yeah, it, it was a massacre. But anyways, yeah, 50-50, uh, the, he's basically my lead because uh, I think yeah, you'll see, you'll see. I'm not gonna spoil too much of the, of the battle, but yeah. Uh, I think I should, yeah, we're bringing Defying just in case he does bring webs and we can have a plus two Sucker Punch uh, and, uh, ready, Life Orb, so that would have done a lot to his team. But anyways, that's it team guys, uh, I'm going to cut to where we go to the battle. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work out because um, I just don't know how I want to like cut into it, so we'll figure something out and I'll be right back. Okay, let's see, if I cut it right, awesome. So now, um, if you couldn't tell, the six, the six at the bottom were the mods he actually did bring. So I wasn't too sure how I wanted to reveal that. I think that's how I'm gonna do it uh, going on forward because uh, these battles are post cons. There's no way I could actually do a live uh, Wi-Fi battle just yet. Um, for sure, in Sword and Shield, I'm, I'm planning to about invest in an Elgato stream, whatever, for the Switch, so that when um, Sword and Shield do, it does come out, I can actually record those battles. And yeah, so you can see that he brings the Araku in it, the Xerneas. The Victini, the Golbat, the Jolteon, and the Mawile. And yeah. So for this matchup, I decided to, I stick with my lead of Bisharp just to get up rocks. And uh, and for really uh, the possibility that he was Jolteon, Mawile, or Araquanid, because uh, those were all pretty good switches. So let's see. Uh, I don't. Oh, there we go. So yeah. Uh, I don't know if I want to do music for this as well. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I was actually kind of nervous. This is the second Wi-Fi battle I did. I battled a I I and the IBA for my match for my pickup matches uh, like a few days like the day before, and now he does decide to lead a rock in it. and so here I was like, you know what? Let's just go for the rocks. Maybe he says a sticky web himself, and then the next turn we could uh, click knock off and not knock, knock off knock this thing's items off. But so you're gonna see what's gonna about to happen. Uh, you're gonna see we go for the stealth box, so we are faster than Araquanid, and this boy decides to go for the liquidation, as you will see. And I think we looked everything but a choice banded liquidation, which is sort of an issue because I don't have a switch into this thing at all. My best switch is probably Tapufini or Mega Latios, and those boys just get obliterated. So I decided to go into my Latios. Which is a huge mistake on my part. Cause oh no, I started going to my Tapu Fini, um, and again, uh, I can't touch this boy at all. I think I should go for the Moonblast or whatever, and I, I really don't have the best of switches because Arcanine, Mars Shadow, and Nidoking Queen all died to the thing. So, um, you know, I really did not have the best of switches. Yeah, and you see, he's gonna go for the Liquidation. I think he does over half to me, which is just stupid. Uh, or, or he just does under half. He gets a defense drop, and so this that's. This forces a switch on my part. 10% chance. I should have got a liquidation in SSBO. I didn't get the defense drop, but he gets a uh, turn two, which sort of, sort of does suck because now I ha I have to switch out and go into uh, my Latios, which is going to take a ridiculous amount of, of HP uh, damage. So yeah, this Arakuen is really just putting in like the biggest of work against my team, and it sucks a whole lot. I wish I brought like a Rocky hit, Rocky helmet set, but yeah, we're gonna go into the Key Lime Fly, Key Lime Fly. And uh, I think I decided to go with the recover. I think I tried to click a uh, calm mind, but that just it doesn't work at all. And so like this Araquina could honestly just really destroy our faces. So I think I should have sacked off. Probably I don't know. We needed Arcadog. Uh, 
I think I decide. I think after a few turns, uh, we just click like, recover. We're trying to we're trying to like stall out uh, this boy's PP, but um, it's not going to work out in our favor at all. Um, because he easily could get another defense drop and uh, lower our uh, or just kill us in the next attack. So like, here I go for the calm mind because like I, I'm not going to waste time clicking recover, and that was a mistake on my part because there's no way I can actually get back to full. I should have realized that. Um, I think it was just the jitters of uh, of it being a Wi-Fi match. Now, if I had Psy Shock, we could have easily had dealt with this thing, but we have Sword Power, which is not good at all. So, uh, yeah. It's not looking good for us uh, these uh, few early turns because, again, uh, Liquidation, uh, Banded Liquidation just is a crap ton. And it's ridiculous. And so, uh, I think I decided to go for the Sword Power here. No, I switch out into Tapu Fini, I believe. Yeah, into Tapu Fini. Um, again, I didn't have a good switch in. I think here I wanted to go for the uh, Moonblast, get him down, and I think he would have been a range of uh, Marshadow. If not, uh, I could be wrong. And so, um, yeah, not 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 the best of a matchup. So here I think we go for the Moonblast, yeah. Um... Uh, But yeah, sorry, I'm just checking my phone real quick because I want to make sure I don't miss a message. Um, yeah, we're going to let Tapu Fini go down here, which sort of sucks a whole lot. And, uh, yeah. Bandit Arakuen is just doing the finest of work. We go into Little Bro, and I think here we click the Spectral Thief. Um, nothing much we could do here. I think now he is in range. And uh, I think we do knock out this Arakuen at this point. Do we? Yeah, we do knock out the Spider Boy. Uh, thank goodness, because again did not have the best to switch in. He goes in to go back. And so I decided to go hard into um, uh, into Nidoqueen. Because we could... Oh no, I go into Arkadog. I go into Arkadog. Yeah, I go into Arkadog. Uh, here he just defogs away his, the rocks. Which is sort of a shame because that means Bishop did absolutely zero against him. Yeah, he goes for the... Um, he goes for the... The, the defog... Removing our rocks. Here I decided to go for the Will-O-Wisp. I believe I could be yeah I go for the wolf just in case he wants to switch out to something else um, and so because uh, I was worried for like a super fang coming my way he goes for the roost so I was like, okay so this is how this is how we're playing um, I actually I just realized um, I just realized I misplayed hard I, I got very lucky that Golbat was not grounded because I forgot that Mr. Turing was a thing <laughs> whoopsie I just realized that's a thing I had to play around that too which is sort of which is sort of like Weird to think about. I almost, I completely forgot about that. That just hit me right now. I could have choked that hard. So I switch out into Needle Queen, I believe, yeah. And then here I decided to go for the Ice Beam. Um, and uh, yeah, he goes for the U-Turn. Uh, he doesn't know that we're Scarfed. He goes into Victini. And um, yeah, he goes, oh yeah, Kid Flash is the Victini. Uh, interesting name. Um, I go for the Earth Power here. He doesn't know I'm Scarfed. He actually turns out to be a Scarfed himself. And so uh, now Nita Queen just doesn't do anything. And we don't do anything for like the next three turns. Because all we click is uh, Earth Power. Hoping that he just uh, switches out into his Victini. Yeah, we don't we do not do anything. And so um, these, were just, these were just dumb plays by me. Uh, I was hoping they switch out, you know. He goes for the Brave Bird. Again... I, I apologize, Blazing Squid. I was hoping to give you a more exciting match, but uh, yeah, I, I, I just played horribly uh, this game. I just look literally. I, I stay in and once again, hoping he switches in. Does this, he go for the U turn? And so I'm like, damn, that's a shame. So Nita Queen doesn't do anything these those these next three turns. Here he goes into Kid Flash and he's in the click Zen headbutt and. Um, I forgot that uh, I was hoping he go for the U-turn. Or no, I switch out. Do I go to Arkadog? Yeah, I go to I go into Arkadog. Uh, I get the intimidate off. So he doesn't really do anything. I think here he goes for the uh, U-turn again. Yeah, he goes for the U-turn. So um, he goes back into Golbat, which is a good, a, again another good, good response. No, he goes into Jolteon. No name disqualified immediately. Um, I think here I decide to go for the flamethrower. Because I think I knew he was going to go into Golbat. Because, uh, oh, yeah, I, I went for the Flamethrower because this Mon gets uh, Quick Feet. So if, if he gets burnt, then his speed is doubled. Uh, 
I believe that's what is, how it works. And so I don't want to burn him at all. He goes into gold bat. Uh, yeah, we go for the flamethrower, and then I think the next this next turn we decide to morning morning sun. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think with this sort of investment, I think he was um, max HP with some special defense investment. I could be wrong. Um, I don't think he was a violite, but yeah, we turn. Out, I think we turn out to be faster than this mon. So um, we go we go back to full. He goes for his own roost, and so we're playing this sort of like stally game, which I'm not a fan of. But yeah. Oh, I just realized. Okay, I'll fix that uh, next time. I just realized. The total dollar logo is being cut off. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, so we switch. I go back into She Hulk. I was hoping, uh, you know, they go into uh, Victini. Yeah, they go for the U turn and they just go straight into Victini. Uh, uh, so here I, I was like, okay, we're gonna go for Earth Power or Ice Beam because they're gonna do something else. And they go for the Zen Hemba. And he's just going to kill me. So I lose She-Hulk for the dumbest of reasons. I completely misplay those few turns with 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 uh, Needle Queen. Uh, here we go to Marsh Shadow because I believe Spectral Thief kills no matter what. He goes for Zen Hit, but I forgot that he was faster than us. I was hoping he'd be like zero speed. We live it no problem because we are max HP. And I think he barely lives this hit. I believe I could be wrong. Oh no no he just dies. Uh, but at this point of the match. We don't have Latias, we don't have Tapu Fini. Nita Queen is down. Now Xerneas can uh can come in. Oh, even uh and we're we're out of uh Bishop. No wait. Is Latias still alive? Yeah, I think I just would uh, sack off uh Latias at this point. Cause we can't win at all. Uh which sort of sucks. It sucks a lot. And so uh he's gonna bolster go into his uh Xerneas and he's gonna click Geomancy, uh which is banned. Geomancy is banned, I think uh Blessing Squid did forget. Um, he was, uh, the, the, um, the, uh, herb, the power, he was power herb geomancy. Here I go for call mine. Maybe he wants to set up and then I could probably try to win with like stored power, but there's no way, uh, I'm going to beat a plus two, uh, special attack, uh, plus two, plus two, plus two, uh, geomancy, uh, is there any, so we're going to lose. He's going to destroy us. Now this was an illegal play on, uh, business was part. They asked me if I wanted to redo this match and I was like, at this point, there was no point at all. Um, they were like, you could you could bring it down to a 3-0. And I was like, nah. Uh, nah, it, it's not worth it in my opinion. I, we could have, but I couldn't do anything at all. So uh, we're going to lose 4-0 this, this game, which sucks a lot. Because um, it's not how you want to start a league. You, you don't want to start 0-1-1. But uh, I just think it was like the nerves was getting into me. And so, um, you know, uh, is there anything that's going to sweep here? Again, I, I, they asked me if I wanted to re, uh, redo this, this battle, and I was like, nah, you know what, uh, maybe there was a chance that we could have won, but uh, there's no way. There's no way you could have beaten his entire team from what we had left. So, um, you know, I, I was like, eh, that's fine. Uh, we'll take the 4-0. I'm going to let this battle roll out. But yeah, uh, good game, Blazing Squid. I understand that I'm that good that you had to cheat it versus me. I completely understand. I forgive you. Um, you know, you sometimes sometimes you gotta cheat against the gods to win. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I, I I just feel like I played horribly this game. Um, like post battle, I was like, oh god damn it. Um, and uh, the reason also why I declined is because I played week two. And yeah, uh, I, we played week two, and uh, let me pause right here. I played week two like right after or right before they had asked me, and I was like on a high, and I was like, nah. I don't need an L for today, so uh, spoiler alert for next week. But yeah, that's our battle, guys. We're gonna lose four zero um, against the Toronto Toronto's. Again, good game, Blazing Squid. It was definitely an interesting match. I wish I gave you a better battle, but that's the game we play. Um, if you guys did enjoy this battle, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new around here. Let me know what you thought of the battle down below. Alrighty, guys. My name is Sergio Heat Great. Make sure you are praising the word of a lone eggy, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye bye.